tears rolling down my eyes. Mm -hmm. Can't tell you how many times I cry. Can't tell you how many times I cry. Days ain't the same without you. No, I don't know if I'm the same without you. Remember the days we smoked big blunts together. Remember the days we rocked that cold jello. Remember the days we have our shit together. On the north side, times were hard, but them days was better. No, I wish I had a time machine just so you can take a ride with me. I miss just how you smile at me. I can feel into infinity. I wish I had a time machine. Yes, sir. So you can take a ride with me. Wrap my arms around and hold you tight, feel. So you can never say goodbye to me. Out in the galaxy. Okay, so this is part one of a tribute to Jordan. Jordan Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm basically going around, going to see all our friends. That until they're gonna tell us like a story that they had with him or their relationship, you know, all that. So we're gonna start with her. Hi, my name is Kaylee. Um, I met Jordan when we were in middle school. He's a year older than me. And we met via social media, most likely Instagram. We did a little to be honest, how we used to do to be honest, you can or something Ooh. like that. And he asked for my kick and we started texting off there. And yeah, that's how we became friends. And then we we was on and off texting throughout the years, stuff like that. Um. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm um. Nah, no, don't get shot now. Nah. Because <laughs> I know the story. Okay, so I did like Jordan, but then he didn't like me back. I didn't think he did. I don't know. He always sent me hard eyes, but never. So. Let's leave it at that. Oh man, you gotta you gotta say the rest, man. No. But tell them about the little donut, man. Oh, so so one year he went to the fair and um yeah, won a donut, I guess, for some game or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. And and I asked for it and he gave it to me. One day he skipped class and he sat sat in my class with me and Miss Zooming. Skipping class. And he gave me the donut and it sits in my car every single day. Mm hmm So yeah. So can I have it? No. Why? It's mine. Okay, I buy it. No, no thank you. <laughs> but uh, let's see. What else? You got nothing else? Um, I don't know. I remember oh, at his balloon release, Miss mm -hmm. Zuma was talking about me. First, I was okay, and then she started talking about me, and I I just busted out crying. Mm -hmm. I was so sad. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we were good friends. Oh well, yeah. So, how did you feel when it all went down? Well, I just woke up from a nap, mm -hmm. and I just seen like a whole bunch of posts of him and Jaden, mm -hmm. and I was like, I was like, what the heck? I was in shock. I was so in shock that like I didn't cry, and I was just like, WTF? Mm -hmm. And the yeah, and then it finally hit me and stuff like that. And oh my gosh. The the news had came to the school and and I was crying and they had they had put me on on TV. I wasn't there for that one. I must have missed that. Cause they was talking they was talking to some some principal in the hallway, but mm. it was like in front of me zooming, and I was just crying and stuff like that before I went to class. I missed that. that I would have been the the better the good person to be on TV. I wasn't on TV. I was in the background, but I was crying. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, I would have been like, yeah, I just, my mama just dropped me. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I, my mama told me to go home, and I was in the car, I'm glad I listened to my mama. I was like, okay, but that's my guy, and this is Kaylee. I appreciate you for your time, and this is only part one, so I don't know how many parts we have to go, but I want to say I got boom, boom. I got a few left, so. Happy birthday, Jordan. Happy birthday. Me and Jordan went to Westbrook together. I met him in my ninth grade year, but we never like spoke much in ninth grade. But as 10th grade rolled around, 
We took social studies together, and for some reason, we was always paired up together. And we began to get closer and closer. And Jordan, he was just so funny. Like, he was the funniest dude in class. Like, it was never a dull moment with him. And on Thursdays, Westbrook had this thing called Cookie Day. And me and Jordan would make bets throughout the week. He'll be like, I bet you're not going to come to class on time. If you don't come to class on time, you got to buy my cookies. But I used to get to that class on time every day just to make sure Jordan was going to buy my cookies on Thursday. But I miss him so much. What's good, Jordan? I miss you, dog. Like, it's been, it's feeling, it feel like yesterday, like, I was just with you when you left me at, at McDonald's when I was sitting in the back of your car. You told me, lay down in the back seat on the floor so nobody didn't see me in the car because your parents didn't like people in your car. So you left me at McDonald's the whole day and I had to call my mom to come get me. It feels just like yesterday, man. Like, it's been a crazy world since you've been gone, man. It just I got a family now. I got a little, a little one-year-old. got my dream car. Uh, I work for the railroad now. Just, I just miss all the stuff we used to do when we were at school together. He was always goofy, always dancing around, making jokes. It just feels so unreal because he was just so such a genuine person. I just wish that never happened to you. Like I remember that exact day we was all playing a three on three tournament basketball tournament at school, and you asked me if I wanted to ride home. I was like, Nah, I'm gonna just ride the bus home. Then next thing you know, I I go home, take a nap, then I'm getting all these calls like. Hey, this this and that happened. I'm just like, nah, that ain't, that can't be right. I was just with him like maybe like five thirty, like five ten, fifteen minutes ago. Like, but it was true, and I just really couldn't believe. It. I really broke down because you were such a genuine person. I'm trying so hard not to cry right now because I think about you every day. It's just so hard. Okay. Was was uh this like part four? My fourth person to interview or second person to interview in real life, fourth video. We got Bonnet Man in the cut. Jante. <laughs> How you feeling? Shoot, man, I'm feeling good. Peace to y'all, man. Alright, so I got a couple questions. It's about Jordan, you know. Okay, how do you feel? Like, like, like. No. What is he? Let's see. What's the what's the question? Just tell me how you met him and what did he mean to you? in a story like a funny story the first time i met jordan it was freshman year and i think it was in the cafeteria mm -hmm. i can't if i can remember i did it was, it was within the first month mm -hmm. of a uh, of school bro and william william this you know william mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, bro. He uh <laughs> he got his food taken, bro. <laughs> <laughs> William took joy food? No, bro. And like I just came and sat down, you feel me at the table, you mm. feel me? But like William been looking for his breakfast for a little minute. <laughs> <laughs> so Jordan had it. Mm. And like he slid it to uh I ain't gonna say hook because William, you still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But he slid it uh, to somebody, and then boom, mm -hmm. we just started busting out laughing because the dude got caught, and William was like, "Give my shit, bro, give my <laughs> shit." Like you know, William, we be getting mad, and mm -hmm. then he had the little ball here, so we started making fun of him. Bro. You remember that time when Will had me in a choke on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Oh my you goodness! That man slammed me on the table because I smacked. <laughs> It was a loud smack, bro. <laughs> Mr. Clean at his finest, bro. Yeah, William had an exquisite head. That's why he's named himself Mr. Exquisite. Nice. Shout out to Will, man. Nice. <laughs> That's a real man right there. But, man, my favorite moment with Jordan, bro, I ain't going to lie. Mm -hmm. I want to say it was a day that we was, I was trying to teach him how to fight, bro. <laughs> man. <laughs> and, like, all right. This day, bro, Jordan had like got we. I think he uh got into a little slap box, little altercation, but it really wasn't like on oh, no serious shit. You feel me? It was with some white dude. Mm -hmm. So like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't. We I just came up. You mm -hmm. feel me? He was doing this. I'm like, man, Jordan. Oh hell no, nah, man. What you got going on? You feel me? Like 
Man, but he wasn't knowing how to swing or nothing like that, but he was just doing all that. So I'm like, oh, Jordan, bro, you really get into a fight, but you gonna get your head whoop. So then Yama, Yama had came, you feel me? So I'm like, right, bet. I told okay. Yama, I'm like, Yama, bro, mm -hmm. bro, we gotta teach this nigga Jordan how to fight. I'm like, bro, this nigga Hill just started trying to slap my <laughs> brother. He got his head whooped. Uh, so, bro, I'm like, man. All right, he like, uh, y'all was like, bet. So we, uh, we walk out, you know, uh, F Hall. Mm -hmm. All right, you know, the do doors to go to the old science complex building. Yeah. But when we go out there and we turn to the level, like we going to the new map building, bro. So I'm like, all right, Jordan. We, uh, I tell him to go down there. And I'm like, bro, I want you to run at me. <laughs> 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 and try to hit me mm -hmm. in my stomach, bro. Hit me in my stomach, mm -hmm. right? And I was fat at that time, bro. I'm big, so I'm like, bro, I can take that shit. Mm -hmm. you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga Jordy, bro. <laughs> Unpredictable. <laughs> Unpredictable as hell, bro. <laughs> Unpredictable as hell. I'm talking about he's the type of dude that literally call you in the hallway and you like nobody done and just start doing it. His little favorite dance. <laughs> bro. I'm like, oh my goodness, bro. So, boom. He uh he started running off. And, like, Yama had recorded it, but he got it so late, bro. We mm -hmm. forgot it. Boom. Jordan running at me. But he running like this, like, also, <laughs> like a cartoon. <laughs> like, like, yeah, bro. Oh, my <laughs> life, friend. Just like that, bro. And he hit me. To record. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Boom. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this nigga Jordan, he run up, mm -hmm. hit my motherfucking hip instead of hitting my goddamn stomach, the mm -hmm. middle of my stomach. Behind right? mm -hmm. is your stomach. Like, I don't understand. No, I don't understand. Mm -hmm. It's like I guess when, if I can remember vividly, the best way I can, when he punch, mm -hmm. it's not like, <laughs> all right, I'm close. Now I'm punching. Mm -hmm. Bro has already got his arm. <laughs> <laughs> He's like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nigga, I'm telling you. Bro, that nigga just uh, and then missed, bro. And like hit right here. I'm talking about I felt I felt it. I'm like, damn fool, you really hit me in my head. That <laughs> shit hurt, fool. I ain't gonna count that shit did hurt. Little motherfucker had some strength in him. So mm -hmm. boom. I was just like, bro, this nigga Yama die laughing at a nigga, bro. Cause I'm like, bro, I can really feel that, but this nigga Jordan, he like <laughs> shit. <laughs> ah, oh, fuck. Like, bro, that's how he really was acting. But he was like slime ball and some shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, boom. Damn, bro. After that, I want to say what well, well, I can remember from that. <laughs> Damn, all right. Another good moment. It was the last day, bro. This is like, for me, mm -hmm. like, it was a hard time for me because, gang, my birthday was right after this you feel me mm -hmm. mine was the 15th bro passed on the 17th that friday that last day oh, and then we had that weekend then come back on monday remember this shit mm -hmm. and like we was playing uh we was hooping it was the tournament huh? yeah it was the tournament shit bro bro i'm talking about it. that nigga last day bro and it was with us fool and like he was just so like we was so happy but like reason they were happy about losing <laughs> <laughs> but la later, like later on that day, like like after all the time we was about, about get ready to go home, he was mm -hmm. like, "Man, we should have won." Man. <laughs> but at the before all that, like oh, we, at least we played, we hooped yeah, on me. But like they down to the, uh, who that was going against Fat or something, Sakaji. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. So it was like it was competition. Yeah. So I understood. But damn, bro, like, bro was hitting his dance and everything. Food was just so, like, it was just a happy-ass We a whole, like, it was just good, bro. And then right after that, with that bro up, and he went on for, I'm talking about, nigga. We did not think nothing of that shit was going to happen. I don't think anybody did, to be honest, bro. I was with him. You he just bought me home. For real? Now, that shit that I, that's news to us, yeah. bro. Yeah. My mom was like, go straight home. So mm -hmm. he went me straight, bought, bought me to the crib, went to the school, gave his little sister Jay, Jaden. Mm -hmm. And that shit happened. Yeah. Yeah, bro. That shit was that shit was weird because like I couldn't I didn't know how to feel. Mm -hmm. Like I was just like, bro, what the fuck? That shit was fake. Cause like nigga, the pictures, bro. Mm -hmm. It's like it's him, like, looking like he young and shit like that. So I'm like, bro, hell no, nah, somebody playing, fool. Because mm -hmm. Yama had sold that shit to me, so I'm just like, man. But 
that right there, it was a good ass day and a bad ass day at the same time because I didn't expect to lose a friend like that. You mm -hmm. Oh God, I didn't expect that. But that was another good ass moment. Some other moments, shit. <laughs> It was, bro, a lot of moments when we was in the cafeteria, bro. Mm -hmm. A lot of moments, bro. We didn't have basketball with the uh, with the little paper ball tournaments and shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to say, all right. It was when, uh, for, who did we with flipped out the chair? We had flipped somebody out the chair, bro. I don't want to say it was William, because mm -hmm. William did not get it first, bro. It wasn't William this day. But, uh... Was it Tyree? Who was it? <laughs> I supposed to get him in one of these. Mm -hmm. him, really? Tra him, Trez, Yama. Mm -hmm. Who was mm -hmm. Quailing, Zania. Oh, this is going to be a long video. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. How long are you trying to get it? As long as it can be. As long as it fit everybody's thoughts. Hey, little cats! Hey! <gasps> Meow! As long as I can fit people <laughs> fit people in it. As, as long as it can. Be. The way that nigga looked at you like, <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I ain't got no... I ain't Man, looked at you like, the <laughs> fuck you got going <laughs> Nigga hop through the windows. <laughs> but yeah, these the hood cats, be, bro. Who was bro really around exactly, like, every like, single time though? Like us, really. Like you feel me? every day we it was us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Them it was more outcasts and like they didn't. They probably even they know them how we know. Them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's just people just probably paying their respects. That's cool, but like you already did that. You just. This is mainly for people who knew him and had that time, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, with bro, and actually got to know who he was as a person. Because, like, everybody can say, like, the best, the most thing people can really say is, bro, came to school happy as fuck every day. Mm -hmm. But, like, shit, do you even know his drive of even doing that? Like, why he was just such a positive person? You can't even really say. Because me and him, we was always like this. Yeah. Since, like, first grade. And we basically the same person. Still, like, I'm still... Like his grandma saw me one time. She was like, "You you act just act just like him." I'm like, "That's just how it is. Mm -hmm. I can't help it. That's that's how we work." You feel me? But now nah, I just me I can't show like fake love. Like for you, see, you know him a long time. You feel me? That's damn near family. For me, I got mm -hmm. to know him for that minimal time, two years. Just mm -hmm. got to share those those valuable moments. Mm -hmm. Like I don't say like, "Oh, I've been knowing him." Who do all that? I don't, I don't do all that game. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Just that was a person that really like brighten a nigga day every single day. Like even when a nigga was feeling down, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talking about nigga knew he was coming <laughs> coming to school, bro. And y'all was there, bro. I ain't gonna lie, y'all really like gave a reason like to come to school on mm -hmm. some shit. Cause like niggas didn't really give a fuck, bro. Like it was really no point. Niggas knew what they needed to know at that time. And, like could have really just did what he had to do, but didn't want to do that. Had other shit playing. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But y'all, y'all made that shit go by smoother, bro. Oh God, I really did appreciate that time, especially with bro, cause y'all always made a nigga laugh. I mm -hmm. appreciate that. Hell yeah. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's everything you got. Yeah, that's everything. Well, I want to, I want to appreciate. Well, I want to say thank you for coming on this video. Mm -hmm. And they got a little something for you. Hmm. Hmm. It ain't nothing too big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me find it. Hold on. I know man, him with the gifts, man. I'm not. I'm not one with the gifts, it, it, man. It ain't too big, but look, it is one of these. <sighs> I haven't seen one of these in so long. Yeah, man. so I'm trying to give everyone that be on the video one of those. It's my first time saying it on video. So. Hey, man. Everybody remember these, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, man? Everybody yeah. had these, man. Y'all yeah, see? Y'all see? I got this on. It's the the logo Jordan and Jaden. Come on, man. The and merch. I got, yeah, I got it right here. Yo. Yeah, but so I've been having this for a long time, so. See, bro. So, yeah. I was uh developing this whole scheme I had. That's why I haven't tattooed my other arm mm -hmm. and also my other chest because I got everybody who who I didn't lost and every, everything that everything that's just so meaningful and powerful on this arm and just mm -hmm. on my body. None of my body means is just bullshit. None of it. You feel me? Everything on my on me means something. Mm -hmm. I don't just drop your shit. So yeah. I gotta get definitely. I was already planning on it, but when I was uh locked up, I didn't want to uh, get that shit on me. You yeah. feel me? Cause I didn't want nobody to fuck it up. Mm -hmm. Gotta get it professionally. Professional. Yes, sir. So I'm gonna see y'all next clip. They got cats walking around, so we might get jumped by some cats. So at me on IG, man. Oh okay. nah, you feel me? Okay, I'm gonna put your little thing on now. <laughs> yes, sir. Ah! Okay, we all back, man. Take two. Yes, sir. We back. Who I got? 
You got your boy Trez, man. The one and only. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, how did you and Jordan meet? Basically, we met at the other class. Uh, we both took the other class together. Uh, we both sat on the uh, different sides of the classroom how the teacher had it set up, but during like the middle of the semester or whatever, she uh, switched up groups and put us all in groups. Mm -hmm. So that was my first time, you feel me, just actually interacting with Jordan, you know? So after that, like after she moved us and stuff, we was in a group, that's when we started getting closer. You know, we chopping up and really, we started really just getting closer because I took a class that was right next to his. Mm -hmm. And since we were just chopping it up inside our theater class, Jordan used to come down from his class when the bell rung, and you feel me, and, and, and come wait by the door, and for me to get out of my class, and we used to just walk, chop it up, you feel me, and that's how we, you feel me, start getting closer together. Right, right. Start being my dog for her. All right, now, do you have a funny moment? I do got a funny moment. It's a funny moment, but a sad moment at the same time, because uh -huh. it was a day that, you feel me, he passed, so. Mm -hmm. It was the day of the three on three tournament. And before the three on three tournament, I'm pretty sure y'all know the little dance. The little, the little. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he told me he told me that uh if he hit a three, he was gonna hit it. You feel me? He was gonna do the little dance. We got the dog riled up again. Mm -hmm. So boom, I'm walking down from the stadium because I was gonna go down to the bottom of the court. Mm -hmm. And I'm literally right there and I see George shoot the ball. <laughs> He wake them all, all neck, and he say, "Trent, Trent, turn around, nigga." You know me. He start hitting them. I say, "Oh my nigga!" <laughs> it was funny because he hit it. He really, like yeah, and he said he was gonna do it. I got plenty of funny moments with my boy, man. But that one right there is one I never forget because mm -hmm. you know that was the day it all happened and shit. But let me tell you one. All right, to I'm trying to light the mood. All right, so I remember mean, one time we was in elementary. I think it was like fourth grade. He like. You got 2K? I'm like, nah, I got 2K. So I'm like, mama, I want 2K. Yeah. So we get, I finally get 2K. You remember, I think it was 2K12 when they had Team Jordan mm -hmm. and uh, the other squads. And so I ain't had no Wi-Fi. He wouldn't play online. He had a PlayStation. I had an Xbox. Trash. So we like, bet, how we gonna do this? <laughs> you can't go to the crib right now. Yeah. yeah. So this is how we did. We got on the house phone. We had no phone. House phone. We called each other. We talking. Like, what team you want? So we, we each picked our own team. Yeah. And we was hooping like that. It was like the middle of the first quarter. He told me, start over, I missed. They're <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, what? I missed. Oh, oh, man. So he said, all right, I mean, me, I start the game over. I'm like, all right. He, he, he started the game over too. He didn't start the game over. He said, game over with. I said, huh? <laughs> I'm like, so how you going to tell me you start the game over? We supposed to be playing online against each other. Right. But really, we not. We just playing a quick game. <laughs> Man, so, you man, a clown. Man, man trick me. Well, all right, I fell for it. That's my bad. Yeah, I you did, my boy. You fell for it. Just be like, mm. Mm hmm. So, what else? It's a lot. You see, how did I mean, you know? How did you feel when you found out it happened? I ain't gonna lie. I bust out in tears. I, I started crying because it was so crazy. Like I was with him, and you know I was. With him. I was. I, you feel me? So, mm -hmm. um. So that day, I was with him, and we was walking after the three on three turn. So boom, we ended up stopping and talking to these girls, and I was riding with somebody, and I found out. I mean, I I seen that they was gonna get ready to leave. Mm -hmm. So you know, I took our run. I was like, all right, Jordan. So I left him behind talking to the girls and stuff. So boom, and come to find out, the person that I was riding with, his car wasn't started. So that's when I turned around and tried to look for Jordan, and he was gone. Cause you feel me. Yeah, you feel me? He's bringing me home. Yeah, he's bringing you home. So, <clears throat> uh, so I'm chilling, and I ended up seeing one of my friends leaving the gym. So I hopped in the car and rode with them. Mm -hmm. So the wreck happened right by my house. Mm -hmm. So they dropped me off under the underpass, and I'm walking under the underpass, and I see, like, they got the yellow tape. I see the front bumper. I walk past all of that because I had to walk under the, under, the, the bridge mm -hmm. to get to my apartments. So uh, I'm just looking at everything. I seen Jordan Pops. I never met his Pops. I didn't even know it was his Pops mm -hmm. until, you know, 
I just seen him, he was just going like this, crying, so I'm like, dang, something must have happened. Mm -hmm. So I look all the way down there and I seen that they had like a little wreck or whatever, so I go on my patio, cause from my patio, you can see like everything. So when I got in the house, I went to the patio, so I'm chilling and I'm on Snapchat. And you know how Snapchat used to have like the little bubbles mm -hmm. where you can see stuff, but I never, I never seen the picture of Jordan and his sister before. But right as soon as I glanced at that picture on somebody bubble, mm -hmm. my homeboy Keenan called me. He he was calling me. He was telling me like Trez, like I'm like what's up. He was like bro, you know Jordan died, and I'm like Jordan, who is Jordan? Mm -hmm. So he like Jordan, you feel me? I'm like. Jordan, like, you, you gotta, like, let me, like, who, like, Jordan, because at the time, I'm not thinking of, it's, you feel mm -hmm. me, Jordan, because I literally just left from being with him, like, literally, mm -hmm. he was like, the one that, you feel me, that you recorded doing the dance and stuff, so as soon as he said that, I went back to Snapchat, and I clicked on the picture, and I seen a picture of him and his sister, and I'm like, bro, ain't no way, so right then and there, I started busting out in tears, because it's crazy, like, the whole time that I'm walking past his wreck, it was him, mm -hmm. so, I was just sitting on the patio, just crying. And I went down to go talk. I went, I wanted to go speak to his father and stuff, but his father, he was talking, he was crying and stuff. So some lady, she was down there and she was just comforting me and everything. Cause I was just crying, I was just bawling my eyes out. She was telling me everything gonna be all right. And it was heartbreaking because I wasn't expecting it to be him. Like literally, I just seen him. We were just in the call, listening to Migos. I remember the exact song we were singing. For real. Slippery. We were like, excuse me, please me. <laughs> um, man. But it's, it's good that I, you feel me, we, we got good last memories of him because mm -hmm. the whole day was fun. Like, my boy was turned up, he laughing, he chilling, and it's crazy because he wanted me to be on his three on three team. He telling me like, Trey, bro, come, you can come play with us. We, we, we finna play against Fat Mill. Like, I, we need somebody. I'm like, man, I already got a team, bro. Yeah, yeah. We, was, we was practicing together too. For real? Me and you. you know, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> going to, uh, remember, uh, Tyler down the street from me? Oh, yeah. We oh, me. Oh, yeah, we was going hoop down there. I got, yeah, that was some fun time mm -hmm. too. All that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, that's about it, man. That's, that's all you got? Well, yeah, I just wish my boss was still here. Of course, man. I think about him every day. Got this on me. I'm trying to get Yama on him, too. I want, to, I want him to show his tattoo because he got the little, got the dates and stuff on his mm -hmm. chest, on his stomach. But, got your little gift as a thank you for coming to do this. Mm -hmm. You probably know what it is, but you don't know what it is. Got these for you. Oh, yeah, I needed them. Yeah, yeah. I always text them as soon as mine start fading. I'm like, Cam, bro, I need some more bracelets. Because mm -hmm. you never call me without it, but I'm telling you, mm -hmm. literally, the, the words be fading out all of it, but I still got it on. Yeah, I need to start. I, I put mine on every now and then. Like, say if I go on a road trip, I put it on for good luck. Put it on, but sometimes my skin be messing up, so I take it off for a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so I don't know who we got next. This video should be done by, I want to say tomorrow morning. Well, not tomorrow morning, but like tomorrow night, depending on who I can get. And Tyree, I'm looking. I'm hey, sir, stop playing around, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And here goes me, Cam. Cam, Cam, Cam. All right. So where do I start? I know I told this story plenty of times, but I'm going to tell y'all again. So let's see. Jordan, my bro, Jordan Chris Brown, we met in kindergarten. He tried to, he challenged me to a race and I beat him to the tree. He didn't think I was fat because I was fat. So I'm like, yeah, I'm like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so first grade, the next year, first grade, we became friends because we had the same kind of shoes on. Some Jordan 8s. They was white, orange, and gray. Some 8s. Second grade, we was in the same class for like oh, two weeks. Then I moved classes. Third grade, we was the class clowns. And Miss Boswell class. Just chilling. We couldn't sit together. We was always talking. Well, especially me. And I remember one time in third grade, he snitched on me. Because we were supposed to be learning how to write in cursive. But I wasn't doing it because I couldn't get it. He was like, can't doing it? I was like, 
I looked at him like, oh, why are you, you going to snitch up? I'm like, that man, we, we bros. In fourth grade, we was in Miss Stewart class. She used to hit us with that stick. <laughs> she used to hit us with the yard stick. I used to be like this. Trying to run from it. But in fourth fourth grade when like like he got me on the game and stuff, 2K. I said I said that in the other story. Well the trades. But yeah. What else? Fifth grade. What happened? What we did in fifth grade? I remember one time in fifth grade, man, Miss Coleman. Hey Momo. She took us to um to a Lamar game, basketball game. And then we you know how you gotta walk over the bridge to go to the other side, park on that side, walk over the bridge. I had to tie my shoe real quick. And then he scared of Jordan was scared of heights. But I'm like, I'm like, how like how you scared of heights? I'm like, I ain't paying no attention. He time I like I tie my shoe. I'm getting I get him to hold my drink. So he had one drink in this hand, he had another drink in the other hand. And he just walking across the bridge like these. He like, he like just walking, just scared out of his mind. I get up any time my shoe. He all the way back there. I'm like, I'm like, come on. He's like, you made me hold your drink. We walking down the bridge. I'm scared. <laughs> that was funny. Hey, what else? Um, I wrote it down in my notes. I'm trying to remember. I remember one time we went to a, a wrestling show in Ford, Ford Arena. It was me, him, my little cousin DJ Dominique, and my nanny. We was having fun, man. I can't remember. I can't remember if he like he accidentally. If my cousin DJ accidentally spit in Jordan popcorn or Jordan spit in DJ popcorn, but somebody popcorn got spit in. It it was on accident, but it happened. And when, uh, what else? I remember. I forget what grade this was. I think it's fourth or fifth, like maybe even third. But I remember one time at lunch, he used to bring lunchables or a jelly sandwich, and like he had the nacho lunchable. I'm like, let me try one of them. So he's like, all right, bet. And so I get a chip, I dip it in the red sauce first. Then I then I dip it in the in the cheese. He like, I don't even want this no more. <laughs> like, why, why you did that? I'm like, what you mean? It's good. But he, I guess, he was one of the guys that don't that didn't like his food touching. You know, back in the day. So, what else? I know I got something in my notes, but. I can't remember what it is because I'm using my phone to record and I'm out of there. But Jordan, I think I think about them. I think about the homie every day. Like let let early, let early Mike every single day. No matter what's going on. I'm like, damn. Oh yeah. And he is the reason why I work at H E B, if you didn't know. The reason why I'm still there. But I can't I can't even can't even lie. I don't want to be at H E B no more. I'm just waiting until I finish school. And that's going to be in like, like May because I should be graduating depending on this one class situation that I need to take. So we're going to see how that goes. And back to this, I want to just want to say thank you to everybody that was able to be in this video. I want to say thank you to Kaylee, Haley, uh, D, Trez. Who else was in it? Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> but anybody who couldn't be in it, I understand. We ain't have time. But I'm going to give you a shout-out, though. Tyree, Yama, Kaja. Yeah. We all miss you, man. Happy birthday once again. We love you. And Jaden, we ain't forgot about you. I remember when uh, when I spun out of his house one time. Oh, I got another story. We spun out of his house one time. And we was playing wrestling. And she she was scared of the Undertaker. She was like, ah, the underwear taker. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, huh? I eat the he I'm like, he gonna take your underwear, he gonna get you. She ran to her room. <laughs> and then one time, like, back to like fourth grade, we me and Joy. I right, so we we of course we didn't have phones. So I remember once the first time I called them, I was like, I had called the phone. I called. I called the house phone. I'm like, can I? This is. Can I talk to Jordan Brown? Who is this? Cammy Bibbs? And I was like, they were like, yeah. So we like, we were chopping it up on the phone, just chilling, man. And that was, was one of the memories I just remembered. And I remember whenever we got to ninth grade, we was just, oh, we back. We reunited again. Yeah, we back. Yeah. 
we just having fun. Ninth grade to 10th grade, yeah, all the way up to the end. And then we was practicing. I'm, I'm all over the place right now. We was practicing for the softball. Not the softball, for the basketball tournament. We was having fun. Uh, we was in the, I remember the first time he showed me his car. We was driving through the school parking lot. It was fun. I got. I still got the video. I don't know if I, if I can find it and put it in there. But um, it was cool. And that's just one of my brothers that I would like. Like, he, like, we had an impact on each other. We had, a, like, a strong impact on each other. Like, like we was like these. Like, I do it, he do it. Like, whatever. It don't even matter what it is. So, I'm pretty sure. If, if if he was still here today, we'll we'll still be like this, cause you know, bros go a long way. I'm really just rambling right now, cause I don't know what I'm saying. But I hope this video comes out good, cause I'm a I'm gonna be up a little, I'm be up all night editing. So, and I I'm gonna see y'all. Well, I don't know, but. One time again, happy birthday to the homie. Happy birthday. We miss you. We love you. This <laughs> but yeah, happy birthday. That's all, folks.